Door Smasher here with a brand new video and today we're going to talk about my controllers configuration or settings. Now as you all know from my last video I talked about using a PlayStation 3 controller to uh, work as a Xbox controller. Now how I get that to work was I used a program called or a software called Motion Enjoy or DS3 Tool and if you guys don't know what that is you can quickly do a search on YouTube how to get Motion Enjoy so if you already have Mo Motion Enjoy and you have a PlayStation controller lying around uh, you can just connect your controller and open Motion Enjoy so after you do that you want to go to driver manager because you're gonna have to install the driver for this to work now you wanna click in this box right here and you wanna click on load driver so it's gonna this little security pop-up is going to come on and all you wanna do is just press install this software anyway so after that's finished you wanna go back to profile and you wanna use the Xbox 360 emulator now after you select Xbox 360 emulator you wanna press enable so after that now you wanna minimize the program don't close the program just minimize it after you do that now you go to where your games are at and you wanna open American Truck Simulator so after you opened your profile you wanna go to you wanna go to options and you're going to open controls we're gonna do controls so after you open controls you're gonna see it on keyboard and mouse and this one now what you want to do is you want to go down and select X input or X input, X input gamepad 1, not the, not the Xbox 360 wireless receiver for Windows, that, that won't work, what we're doing that won't work. So you want to select this one and then you're going to move to the second op option that says none and you want to do the same, X input gamepad 1. Now after that you want to change the controller subtype to gamepad slash joystick. Now you do what you want to do with your transmission. I use sequential. Now if you want to use sequential transmission you're going to have to use two additional buttons for upshifting and downshifting. So after that you set your steering sensitivity and then you want to go down to where it says steering axis now after that you want to use your left stick your left stick for this option so you want to you're gonna click that and you're gonna move from left to right with your left stick so you want to go down slightly to where it says acceleration access now what you want to do is you're gonna use the right trigger the right trigger then you want to go down to where it says brake axis and change that to left trigger. Then you scroll down to where it says left right axis. If this one is selected, click on, on assign, then you click on it. Because you're not you, you won't want to use up down axis. So you want to go down to left right axis and you're going to use this one as the right stick. So you want to scroll down, you're going to skip H shifter setup, you're going to go all the way down to where it says cursor speed and then you change the cursor speed to the maximum. After that you want to go to keys and buttons at the bottom of the screen right here. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to shift up, this option where it says shift up and you're going to click on that and then you're going to use, you're going to use a secondary the secondary row not the primary if you want to change the primary it's going to mess up your game if you try to use the keyboard only so you want to use the secondary one so you can not mess up your game if you're going to use the keyboard only so the first thing you want to do is you want to use the right bumper r r1 then you're going to go to shift down and change this to left bumper or r our left one sorry so you want to scroll down to where it says parking brake 
then you're going to use the X button or A. So you want to scroll down a little bit more to where it says engine brake toggle. So you know if you're driving a truck and you're using the clutch or the gas pedal, you won't enable the engine brake. Engine brake is only turned on when you release the clutch or release the the throttle you know so so you gotta use the b button or o you wanna also change the start stop engine to the y button or the triangle button so you're gonna scroll down to where it says the left turn indicator you wanna use the left d pad then you wanna go to where it says right turn indicator and you wanna use the right d pad then you go down to where it says light modes and change that to the D-pad up or the up D-pad. So you want to go down to where it says wipers and change that to box or X. So you, you want to scroll down. After you finish that, you want to scroll down to where it says interior camera now you want to change that option now to the right stick you can click the right stick to change this one you can press down on the right stick to change this one so you want to scroll down to where it says um, activate and you're going to use the select button for that one then you want to use the d-pad down for trailer attach detach so you're going to scroll down a little bit more, you're going to go below that and then you're going to change menu to start. We're done. Uh, I hope this video helped you guys out. Um, I know a lot of you guys really don't know how to set up your controller or you may think it's so hard that you don't even want to use your controller anymore for this game. You just stick to your keyboard and mouse but it's a really simple method and a big shout out goes to Rodane Burke for submitting this video idea I hope I hoped it helped you out man and I hope you guys enjoyed give it a like if you liked it if it helped you out comment down below and tell me and I'll see you in the next one peace out